Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to be doing another spending spree in GTA 5 Online. So if you guys enjoy the video, we're going to be buying a bunch of stuff, but there is a catch. Instead of just doing a regular spending spree, just buying stuff, every time I crash my car, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a PSN or an Xbox Live gift card. So pretty much every time I crash, I'm going to show you guys when I crash, and I'm going to put the code up on screen along with the region the code is for. I'm going to be doing it for multiple different countries so everybody gets a chance to win. It's not just going to be America and like UK and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. But just before we do get it started, there's a quick word from our sponsor. Thanks to them, we are actually able to make this video. So let's take a look. So today we're gonna to be talking about Raid Shadow Legends. Now I'm not a huge fan of PvP games, but when I actually downloaded this game and I played it for just a few days, I actually got really, really addicted to it. It's a lot more fun than I thought it was. And I wish I downloaded it a long time ago. There's so many things that you guys can do in this game. You can battle tons and tons of different enemies. You can battle your friends. You can even battle me if you did want to in online battles as well. And the best part is you guys can unlock new champions almost every single battle. And there is so many amazing champions that you guys can unlock. I don't really have that long of an attention span when it comes to playing some of these games, but I actually have a lot of fun playing it. You guys can see here I just unlocked a brand new champion from completing that battle, and of course you can also face off against bosses as well, which will grant you much better rewards in the end, and they're not even that hard to beat because your champions are going to be so overpowered. It's honestly just a really, really fun game, and you guys do need to try it out. You can also upgrade and modify your champion's armor and weapons weapons which I thought was really cool and of course you can unlock new ones, epic ones, common ones, rare ones and of course legendary and if you really wanted to you guys can also sacrifice some of your champions and then you guys can actually level up some of your other ones so it's definitely really really cool and a really fun game. Taking a look at the champion index as well this is just one of them that you can unlock. Look at all of the champions in this area of course you guys want to get the legendary ones because those ones will just destroy everything everything in battles and they are extremely overpowered and lucky for you guys if you go and take a look in the description there are some special links if you are a new player you'll get 100,000 silver and one free champion and that champion is going to be hex weaver they'll be inside your inbox which is located right here and then once you're there you should see these 100k and a very overpowered champion these rewards will only be available for the next 30 days though, so make sure you go click the links down below in the description so you guys can actually use these champions in game. And trust me, it is so worth it. You guys will be able to beat everybody, probably even me. Take a look at my champions. They look pretty decent already, but if you guys go and get that champion, you'll probably be able to slap me in just a couple of minutes. But definitely a really fun game. You guys need to go and check it out. All the links are down below in the description. Go check it out and have some fun. So yeah guys, definitely go and check out Raid Shadow Legends, it's honestly a really really fun game and I honestly play it all the time. But anyways, let's start off this video. I decided to fully upgrade a Krager because it's the most expensive car on Legendary Motorsports and everybody gets mad at me because I always use a street car at the start of the video so now you guys can't get mad because I have a fully upgraded car. Alright, so let's start this thing off. Let's go onto the internet and let's go buy some stuff. And don't worry, we are going to drive around so there's going to be some giveaways in this video. Okay, so let's go take a look first off. Everybody loves this part right here. Buying the Luxor Deluxe, $10 million. There we go. Like I said, so we actually started with $8,200,000,000. Let's see how much money we're actually gonna end up spending by the end of this. It could be a lot. It could only be 200 million. It could be like a billion. You'd really never know. Like, it just depends how much stuff I buy and how quick I buy it. Let's find out though. But we're getting all of these planes, all these helicopters, and there's just not worth it to buy at all. Like. <laughs> There's literally no use for any of these. Like some of these helicopters you can just call in if you have other stuff in the game. But like some of these things are just not useful whatsoever. But like who would actually spend $2 million to buy this? Like is there any actual purpose for this? I don't think there's actually any purpose to buy that helicopter right there. There's literally no reason that you should buy it. Um, okay, let's just get this. We'll buy the six most expensive planes for right now. And then we will buy some more after. So let's go back to the home page. Um, and let's see. We definitely need to go to the foreclosure site because there is obviously tons of stuff. And yeah, I just remembered. I probably should have went to go and talk to Lester before I made this video because uh, I can't buy an arcade. So I guess I'm going to have to do that in a bit, which means I'm going to have to drive over there and I'm most likely going to crash. So stay tuned. There's probably going to be a giveaway very soon in this video. I'm not even lying. Two million bucks. That's nothing. That's literally just 
like I don't, I don't know. I just don't use. <laughs> it's two million dollars. It's not that much anymore. Hopefully, there's no sales on, so that we actually spend a bunch of money. That would be more fun. Um, bunker style three. There we go. Personal quarters. And there's the race system right here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, look at the price difference. Okay, for the black ones, 740k. For the white ones, 845. I, I call that racist. I, I, I call that racist. It's racist. It literally is. They should be the same price. That's not... Rockstar's slacking. Rockstar is slacking. Okay. Um, let's go get a hanger now. Uh, let's just get the same one as we always do. The $3 million one, of course. Nope. Just, yeah, there is a difference. Damn. Why is it so expensive to just paint it? It shouldn't be 300 grand to paint your freaking hanger like i get it's a huge ass hanger but like even this like 200 grand to paint this I'll, I'll if i if i was a good artist i would paint that for like 300 dollars. yeah i'd probably paint that on there for 300 bucks still 5 million bucks it's pretty expensive pretty expensive um what else do we need we need a facility of course so starting at three mil for the most expensive why can't i click them oh my god um orbital cannon obviously um that is just a complete waste of money to be honest like it's 700k you pay 900 grand to buy it and then you have to pay 750k to freaking find a target and then you can't do it again for 45 minutes like what is that some things in this game are really just really stupid Taken to shoot the orbital cannon once, it's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for automatic targeting. I think the other one is like five hundred k or something like that. Like imagine you do it and you miss, and it just doesn't kill them for some reason. I've done that before. It it just did not kill them, and I have no idea why. Dancers, yeah, we got to get that. We'll go style three and this one just because it's the most expensive. Okay, five million dollars for a nightclub. Holy crap, that is a lot. I believe we've spent around fifty million dollars. We spent fifty million dollars. It's been five minutes. 50 million in five minutes. Holy crap. Um, okay, let's get an arena war workshop. Um, okay, let's get all of the mechanics, of course. Uh, let's get a personal quarters as well. Coming in for a grand total of four million dollars, which is really not that bad. Let's buy some arena ready vehicles. Since we're on the site, we might as well. Let's go and get the, whatever this one's called, the Cerberus. All right, uh, let's see what else we can get. We'll just get a couple for right now. Let's get the most expensive ones. So I believe it's this one next is the, what is it? Apocalypse Scarab. All right, we'll grab that too. Um, let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, all right. And this is the last one. We don't need to buy them all. What else, what else? We need a penthouse, obviously. Obviously, we need a penthouse. Let's see here, let's just let's just buy the high roller suite, to be honest, fully upgraded. There we go, buy now. Really not in the mood to upgrade every single thing in the penthouse, because there's a lot of stuff. Um, okay, so that was like six million bucks for that. Um, we'll go get one more thing here, let's see dynasty okay and then i'm gonna have to go talk to lester hopefully i don't crash i mean obviously you guys are hoping i do crash so then you guys can win some money let's buy the office building now for four million bucks i believe this is actually the most expensive in the thing in the game oh nope i'm not ready to buy it yet okay but yeah i think this is the most expensive thing in the game to be honest is it really an extra million yeah see look it's a million dollars for that like decor like that is crazy expensive if you fully upgrade your entire office with garages it's like 12 million dollars which is so expensive. Like, it's so expensive. Like, holy crap. Okay, there's six million dollars right there, gone. Then if we fully upgrade each garage, it's two million bucks for this one, okay? And then you add the last garage, which is obviously a bit cheaper than 1.75 million. And then the reason it gets up there is because of the freaking custom auto shop, which costs another 900,000. Plus, with you, if you just wanna put that on, it's an extra 500 grand. Coming in for another grand total of 6.8 million. So it's like $13 million to fully upgrade an office. That is so expensive. All right, we're gonna drive over to Mirror Park and we're gonna go meet up with Lester. Hopefully, we do not crash. All right, we are outside. Let's go meet up with Lester and hopefully I don't crash here. I swear to God, if like some, oh, nope, not first person. I swear to God, if some pedestrian just like rams into me, I'm gonna be really pissed off. I should not drive that fast. How do we get there? Um, I don't know where to go. Shit, let's go this way. Ooh. Oh, okay, well, there's a giveaway up on screen right now. My bad. <laughs> already, already, literally freaking, like, not even a minute after I started driving, just right away I crashed. Maybe it's just the car. I, I don't really drive, like, this car that much, but I just felt like buying it because it's the most expensive one on Legendary Motorsports. Okay, well, there's a the first giveaway, but we're pretty much here at Lester's, like, meetup spot, so let's just go quickly talk to him. And then, um, then we'll just continue with the rest of the video. So let's hop in the car. 
and let's go buy an arcade now since we can finally do that um, let's see because I'm pretty sure arcades are pretty freaking expensive um, okay 2.5 million starting price that's not even bad so that comes to what 4 million bucks that's not 4.2 that's not even that bad that is not that bad okay well we're back in the car now okay now everybody's calling me um, okay, so where are we going next? What do you even need to buy? There's so much shit to buy in this game. Oh my god So let's go back onto the internet. Obviously, there's everything you can buy on the internet So I don't know why I even asked. Uh, let's go back and get a terabyte now three million bucks Not that bad terabytes are actually pretty blessed to buy. All right, let's get an Avenger now since we do have a facility Four million bucks for that um, Okay, and let's go get an MOC as well. Um, okay, we got that now um, Let's go back to Warstock then and let's just get some vehicles let's see what we can get here so we obviously need to get this thing we need to get the rc tank because two million bucks why not um let's get the zaba which is probably the worst vehicle i hate this thing it's literally a piece of garbage but apparently it could take a lot of rockets according to someone that i saw comment on one of my videos so i mean that's the only upside to having that thing i think there's literally no other reason to buy that um <laughs> Uh, along with a fire truck being three million dollars, which is totally worth it to purchase, obviously. Bug Stars van, 600k. Let's sure, why not? Let's just buy that. If we're just wasting money, might as well, right? Um, we'll get the armored truck as well. Um, okay, we got that. Like, what do you even use that for? Like, what, what's the actual purpose of buying some of these vehicles? Like, I really don't understand what the purpose is. Can you use them in the actual heist or like what? And then like the lifeguard truck, 800 grand. Like. Man, Rockstar really just wants to snake everybody, like $60,000 for an ATV. Think about this, imagine you're in real life and someone's offering you 60 grand to buy this ATV. You have to pay 60 grand to buy this freaking ATV. Would you buy that? Obviously not. Um, the Menacer is on sale, that's not bad. 700K off, that's pretty decent. Um, we'll take a look here. I think the Scramjet's on sale too. This is a pretty decent price actually, 2 million bucks. Okay, that's really decent. My computer is a freaking jet engine right now, so I apologize for that. Um, okay, so we got that. Let's see, we need to get the oppressor mark too. Honestly, you know what, let's just buy a couple of oppressors, just because we can. Let's just buy a couple. Let's fill up Office Garage 3. We'll buy, a, like, just a bunch of them, to be honest. Um, let's just keep them up. Let's fill them up. Oh, no, Look how many screens you gotta go back to freaking buy multiples of them. Oh my god, I hate Rockstar. Okay. You know what, that's good enough. We bought enough of them. I'm not buying anymore. That takes so long, what the hell? Oh my God, look how many screens we had to go back before it wasn't like that, I swear. I've done so many of these spending sprees and they used to be so much different. Now it's so weird. Um, okay, we got the B11 Strike Force. Let's go get the Pounder Custom. You know what was really funny? I went back and looked at some of my old videos from a long time ago when I first started playing PS4 GTA 5. Does anybody else notice how much the websites have changed? Like, they're so much more updated compared to what they used to look like. It, it's so weird. And I remember specifically back then what all of the websites used to look like. And now looking at them now, they're so different. Do you guys remember? Um, I can't remember what it was. I think the Legendary Motorsports. I think it was like a Bugatti and now it's a Reaper. And on like the Southern San Andreas Super Autos, to pick your colors, they were rectangles instead of like the circles. Everything used to be so different. I definitely think you guys should go take a look at some old videos of GTA 5, buying stuff on websites and just seeing how the game is. It's so different than what it is now. Um, oh my god, we spent almost 200 million dollars. I didn't even know that. It's been 20 minutes. We spent 200 million dollars. Oh my god. Okay, uh, we'll get this as well. Little, like, how do they expect everybody to buy all this stuff? This is a lot of stuff. You'd have to play 24-7 to actually get everything here. I don't even know if I already bought this. Yeah, I did. If I was just buying the same thing, I think I've been just buying the exact same thing. Um, we'll get the Akula, the Volatile. Yeah, we'll obviously need that because why not? It's just like the biggest freaking plane in all of online. What I really want to see though is them add the Jumbo Jet. If you guys are watching at this point and not skipping ahead, that's awesome. But I also wanted to say, you know what would be really cool? If when GTA 5 is done and they stop releasing updates, they just release every vehicle in the game into online. Like I'm talking about the jumbo jets that you could fly, those like airport vehicles, and you should be able to buy everything. Everything will spawn in. I think that would be really, really fun to be honest. Like imagine just going to the airport and you see jumbo jets flying around. Do you know how awesome that would be? But to actually buy it though, I would assume Rockstar would probably price it at around like 20 to 30 million dollars just because it's them and then be able to buy the Space Stalker instead of having to unlock it in Arena War because that would take 
legitimately months to do. It would take months on end to be able to unlock the space docker and that like tractor or whatever. But like, it would be really cool. It would definitely be really, really cool to see um, Rockstar actually add that. Just all of the stuff from story mode into online, like including animals. Like, I don't know why they took the peyote plants out. I'm not sure if they added them back in or not yet, but I heard that they took them out and I was just like, why would you take them out? You literally said you were adding them and now they're gone. Like. I, I don't know. I really have no clue what is going on over there, but I'm really hoping GTA 6 is going to be an awesome game, and I know we are going to have a ton of fun on that game. I just guarantee you they're going to be cracking down on glitches like crazy in that game. But when they come out, when GTA 6 comes out, there's going to be glitches everywhere you look, guaranteed. So like if you get that game, try to do as much as you possibly can. If you notice one little mistake, take advantage of it until it gets patched because the glitches at the start of the game are usually some of the best glitches in the entire game. Like, I remember when GTA 5 came out, you would just sell streetcars constantly. And some of my friends did that, they made millions right away, bought the most expensive everything, they got an adder, and then they got the Eclipse Towers, and then they actually just stopped playing the game. Because that back then, that was the best thing you can get. An adder, and the Eclipse Towers apartment. Those were literally the best things you can get. Like, oh my god, GTA 6 is definitely going to be an amazing game. It's definitely going to be an amazing game. Okay, we have now spent officially two, over $200 million. We've been buying everything on Warstock. Okay, let's head out of Warstock. We've been buying a lot of stuff on here. Um, what else is there? Let's go to Travel and Transport. Uh, let's see here. I mean, we can get some Benny's vehicles. We can get, oh, we got to get a yacht. I completely forgot about getting a yacht. Oh my god. Um, okay, look at the Aquarius, $8 million. Let's throw some gold fittings on there. There we go, we'll get some vis viv vivacious lighting, of course, Pacific, and we'll change that to the Voyager. We're from Canada, and we'll just keep it the same name. There's 10 million bucks right there. Now that I'm thinking about it, $10 million literally is nothing in this game anymore. $10 million is nothing. Think about that. $10 million is legitimately nothing. There's no nothing you can really... Well, obviously you can do stuff with $10 million, but like compared to like before... You could buy 10 adders and you'd be probably like the coolest person in GTA 5. Nowadays, if you have 10 adders, you're just like, okay, whatever, that's cool. I have everything else. I have like a super yacht, a freaking golden jet. Like everything is just so expensive, so expensive now. Like, oh my God. Okay, let's buy some expensive cars. Uh, let's get the Tesseract for $2.8 million. All right. I'm going to let you guys hear all the notifications of when all these vehicles get delivered. Okay, $2.7 million, because of course there's a trade price for this car as well. Um, I'm not really sure how you unlock the trade price for that. Is there one for this too? Okay, no, there isn't. Thank God. I think that's really stupid how they add trade prices. But at the same time, why don't you just list it at that price? Like, just list it at $2 million. bucks. do not Don't put it for $2.7, just $2 million. Like, you don't have to be doing people like that. Um, okay, let's get this ramp car thing. All right, let's hear what it sounds like when we get out of the screen. That's everything we just ordered that just got delivered. Okay, we're back in the car. No crashing. Okay, we got this. We got this. All right, so I think now I'm going to head over... I don't even know where to go. I have no idea. Here, you know what? Let's go to the casino for a second. We'll do a little giveaway there. If I win a chips prize, if I win a car... If I win the car on the casino wheel, I'll do a giveaway. Or if I win a money prize or a chips prize, there's going to be a giveaway on screen. So let's do that. And hopefully I don't crash because then that'll be two giveaways <laughs> back to back. And I hope it'll win money. Obviously you guys do. Um, but let's see. Let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully it's something good. All right, boom, made it to the casino without crashing. That is perfect. By the way, I'm only gonna show the clip of me crashing. I'm not gonna show me driving because I know a lot of people just don't want that and it's just boring. So let's go spin the wheel. All right, we're gonna try to win the oppressor here. We're gonna win it. I'm telling you right now, we are about to win the oppressor Mark One. Even though it's really, it should be oppressor Mark Two. That would be pretty decent, or something expensive. Freaking put a super yacht on there or something like that. All right, let's do this. Fresh wheel still, which is actually pretty rare. 
Let's do this though. Let's try to win the car. Giveaway if I win the car. Here we go. All right. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Here we go. Oh, it spun too fast. I think I counted way too quick. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, no way. Oh my God. We were so close. Okay, no giveaway. I said we won the vehicle, cash or chips. We won clothing. Honestly, that's still, that's still pretty blessed. Did you see how close I was? I was actually really close. A little bit less. I counted a tiny bit too fast. Damn. Okay, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay, let's go buy more stuff. Well, damn, I got all the way here without crashing. Now we have to wait for the freaking thing. Awesome. That's going to be fun. Okay, I'll be back in like five minutes after I watch this really, really long cutscene for the arena workshop. Oh my god. All right. Finally. We are finally done. Freaking listening to Bryony talk. Like, holy crap, why does it take so long? Like, I wish it was just a way to skip intros. Some people just don't want to watch them, like, at all. Especially me, considering I've seen them all probably like 15 times by now. Boom, there we go. It looks the exact same, just with spikes, because I didn't put any colors on it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's go buy some clothing items. There's so many expensive clothes in this game, and plus, I have to drive there, so obviously you guys would like that. Okay, there's our car. Okay, let's head over to the nearest clothing store. Where is it at? Right over here. All right, let's go head over there and let's try not to crash. All right, we are at the clothing store now. So let's just park our car right here and let's go buy some expensive clothes. All right, so we can't get any of those. All of these ones, look how expensive this shit is, like 230K. You know what, we're just gonna speed this up, take a look at my money and enjoy the little time lapse. Okay, well, yeah, that's pretty much all the expensive outfits. So somebody tell me how much money I just spent on outfits. I would like to know that down below in the comment section if you guys feel like it, of course. Anytime you guys want, just join my lobby. Of course, all the information's down below in the description if my friends list is full because I don't usually accept friend requests unless I am live streaming. So if you guys did want to be added to my friends list, tune in during live streams and then you guys can pretty much just see when I'm online anytime or just join my community. Okay, let's go to the next place. Hopefully I do not crash while driving there. Okay, so that guy just decides to break right there. Damn, thank God I am not a terrible driver. Oh my God, what are people doing? Yo, I'm... Oh, all right then. Well, I hate pedestrians. Okay, so there's another gift card on screen right now if you guys want to try to enter that. See, see whoever wins that little gift card right there. All right, we got some oppressors right here. Let's go take out an oppressor. We'll request our terabyte. We will go and upgrade um, some Mark II weapons and upgrade our oppressor. Uh, so let's call in the terabyte right now. I don't think I can crash in this thing. Hopefully not. Um, let's see where it spawns in though. Let's head inside the back of our terabyte and let's go and upgrade our oppressor Mark II. Get some Mark II weapons as well. So let's get the Mark II weapons first since it's right here and we're already off our bike. Okay. All right. And we actually have to buy the weapons as well. So we haven't even done that yet. We definitely, I just realized I didn't even, okay. I actually have to upgrade the weapon. I completely forgot about that. I haven't done this in so long. Um, okay, let's just fully upgrade all of them. Let's just put some of that. Actually, I'm only going to put the ones that I actually really like on because some of them really aren't good, um, especially if you don't have certain weapons. Like, I know the pump shotgun's amazing, but I don't have the unlocks for it because I haven't done the stuff on this account. I have to research this, which is obviously the most overpowered thing, explosive weapon, like explosive shotgun rounds, I guess, on a weapon. That's the most overpowered thing in the game by far 110 percent so, i don't know that's good enough honestly um let's upgrade our mark ii oppressor here let's go buy some more stuff let's see what can we buy what can we buy today and i'm obviously not going to use this vehicle for the whole video because obviously you guys are going to want me to crash more so uh let's see where are we going to go now are you kidding me <laughs> I literally said I'm not gonna crash in this thing and I crash into a building. Okay, there's another giveaway code on screen right now. Um, but I was gonna say, let's go to the ammunition and let's go buy some 
some weapons here. Shit, let's buy this. 460k. This gun is overpowered. Let's just buy all the tints because we can. Um, we'll get this thing too. We'll keep it in gold, I think. Um, we'll get the minigun. Look how cheap the minigun is now. <laughs> I used to think the minigun was expensive. Same with like the grenade launcher. 30 grand RPG, only 20 grand. Are they on sale right now or something? That seems really cheap. And then you get you go down, mini SMG 8K. Oh wait, what is this thing? It's $400,000 for a freaking gun. Like what the, f <laughs> what is that? Why is it 400 grand? We will be good. I think we'll be good with that, to be honest. I think we're good with that. Okay, let's see how much money we've spent. We have spent, I think, around $300 million. That's not even that much. That is not that much. Okay, and there goes my presser. All right, let's hop back on this thing. Um, okay, next thing we need to buy. What do we need to buy? Let me think for a second here. I have no idea. Let's just go buy some cars on Legendary Motorsports or something. I was I was just thinking for like a good like two minutes, and I just couldn't think of anything to buy. Okay, I mean, we can get an RC Bandito. 1.5 million. Um, might as actually no. These cars are way too cheap. It's all just too cheap. Um, let's go over here. There's obviously obviously some vehicles that we do need to buy still on here. Um, I know we need a Hydra still, so we'll get that for four million dollars. Um, let's see what else there is. What else do we want to buy? We were just going down this before. I think we got down to like right around here. Anything like super expensive here? Um, oh, we need to buy that. What am I talking about? Okay, let's go to the CEO office. We need to go and buy vehicle workshops. We can buy the Ruiner 2000 and like all that crap, you know? So let's head over there. Okay, let's go buy a vehicle workshop and some cargo space because we need to spend money on stuff we're never going to use because we're going to delete this character. I think the most expensive one, I think, is this one at 2.8 million. So let's buy that. And obviously, we need to change the theme because you just have to. You must do that. Okay, so that's the only one of those we can buy. Um, let's back out. Let's go to special cargo. So we're only going to buy the large workshops because those are the most expensive. I'm pretty sure you could buy a bunch of them. So let's get this one for $3.5 million, $2.6 million for this one. Empty warehouse slot. Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, $3 million. Yeah, obviously we're going to buy that. Okay, so we've spent a pretty decent... We spent like $10 bucks already just on warehouses. More than that, actually. 3.2. Why is that one so expensive? Okay, let's get that too then. All right, there we go. Empty warehouse slot. Boom. Okay, I think that's probably the max you can buy. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, but there we go. We just bought some more stuff. So that was probably like, what, $15 million around there, maybe-ish? $15 million-ish? I don't know. Uh, let's go get a car instead of an oppressor, even though I crashed on it, which is just, I don't know how. I'm just really stupid. I apologize. Let's get a scr... No, I'm not getting the scramjet. I'm going to crash like crazy in that thing. Okay, let's just get the JB700. Let's just go upgrade that really quickly. And then while I'm upgrading that, I'm going to think of something that I can do after in terms of buying stuff. So let's just instantly upgrade this car right now. Boom. That's it. Right there. Fully upgraded. It's actually a pretty cool glitch. You guys just kind of snap your fingers and then boom, it just upgrades automatically. So I thought that's a pretty cool glitch, to be honest. But, um, okay, let's just go on the internet. Let's buy some more stuff. Planes are actually pretty decently cheap. You know what I would love to see? Oh, never mind. I just remembered. We can't buy anything because the servers are down again. Okay, at least we can upgrade stuff. Thank God we could do that. We just can't buy anything, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna upgrade this thing. My favorite arena war vehicle in the game by far is this. Isn't this a sick car? Look how dope this thing is. I actually love this car. Not right now though. It looks ugly as shit right now. We're gonna make it look dope. We're gonna make it look really cool. By far the best arena war vehicle that you can get not for arena war though look at this ready for this all right here we go future shock boom and that's what it turns into the car actually just gets longer and then it has six tires on it which is crazy okay let's upgrade it now might as well it's so expensive look at this 300k like we have actually officially just spent 300 million dollars i think i think we just officially spent 300 million if you just take a look at the uh thing on the top right hand corner that shows how much money i have left guarantee you by the time gta 6 comes out i will have no money i guarantee you i will have no more money left on this account after gta 6 comes out 110 percent all right um color oh i do not like that um let's see let's just put on some like color ran literally just some random color um let's go with ultra blue i guess 
uh, secondary color let's just go with white that looks really ugly and then for this color let's just make it lime green because we're not trying to make a car that looks good <laughs> um, okay we'll add the armor we'll add some crates onto it transmission turbo vertical jump there we go wheels wheel type let's put on let's throw on some gold rims honestly they'll look really nice let's throw on that we'll make them black tires obviously the retro because that's my favorite the big white walls and then windows and weapons this is the most expensive 370 grand for that 300 grand for that and another let's put emp another 300 grand for that so that's 900k we just spent in weapons damn that's a lot of money for this vehicle we probably just spent i don't even know because we have to buy it as well upgrade it i would say probably at least minimum five million dollars the apocalypse brutus i don't think i've i don't think i've actually ever upgraded this one before now that i'm thinking about it doesn't really look that nice to be honest it looks kind of ugly and really nasty why do they have to make them all freaking rusty like you know you can have like a a derby car that's not rusty you know that right hopefully hopefully rockstar understands that um engine upgrades we'll upgrade the exhaust as well okay it's starting to look a bit more tanky it kind of doesn't really look like an arena war vehicle i would more assume this to be maybe a zombie apocalypse vehicle which could come in handy right now if you guys are watching this when the uh virus is going around the world um <laughs> so maybe this will come in handy <laughs> um Let's see, uh, plate upgrades, 570 for that is nothing. Let's just, let's just put our crew color on it, honestly, I don't even care. Even though it doesn't even change half the car, which is just perfect. Because obviously everybody wants that, they just want to show the rust all over their like million dollar car. Multi-million dollar car, my bad. Because you know, why buy a house when you can buy this rusty piece of trash? For no reason, right? Um, oh wow, you can't even put Benny's rims on it. That's... That really sucks. Um, okay then. Well, this car sucks. <laughs> that, that's probably why I never upgraded it, to be honest. Okay, at least it has the Mega Blade. But like, it's pretty ugly. It is pretty ugly, and it just does not look like a car that anybody would really want. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually driving this thing. I think I've seen every other Arena War vehicle, except for this one, being driven around in GTA V. That's like the only one. I hope the saving, literally as I'm about to say it, literally as I'm about to say it, so I don't know how much longer the spending spree is going to be going on. <laughs> Mega armored cover, throw some turbo on there, because why not? Obviously a tank needs to have turbo, like, duh. <laughs> um, weapons, ram weapons, okay, we'll put the large scoop on there. Okay, yeah, so it has a rusted cannon and a clean cannon. Do you guys want to spend an extra 30 grand to get an extra little bit of just no rust? I mean, it still kind of looks a little bit ugly, but I don't know. Um, okay. Well, there we go. That's the Arena War vehicles that we purchased that are upgraded now. And now, hopefully our car is still outside. I don't really know. Um, it still can't save. This game is actually getting on my nerves now. Um, I don't even know what we can buy now. Like, we barely spent any money. I think we spent $400 million around there. I think we spent almost 400 million soon to be 400 million um and my car is gone again which i just don't know why it disappeared it's not like i brought a car outside um so let's just take your car i'm just gonna borrow it for a couple of minutes and then you'll never see it again all right um there's literally like nothing else we can do the servers are down again i'm not sure how long they're gonna be down for and i don't think i'm gonna be waiting around all day for the servers to come back online um let's see let's just head okay i just remember we can't crash <laughs> just remember that okay um let's go do something i'm gonna try to find something to do honestly you know what i can't think of anything else to do and the servers are just not coming back online so i think i'm just gonna end it here but you know what just because i'm awesome i'm just gonna throw another code up to the people that watched till the end of the stream or not the stream the video so here's another code up on screen right now Thank you to whoever, but to everybody that watched the whole thing. It's greatly appreciated, of course. And uh, yeah, that's I'm guessing that's pretty much it. So everybody, calculate how much money I spent exactly, and I'm going to show you guys right here. So I have seven billion eight hundred and ninety-two million one hundred forty-nine thousand three hundred and three dollars on the dot. And I'm not sure what I started with, but you guys can rewind in the stream, comment it down below, and um, the first one that I see, I will pin your comment. 
And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.